What's up there fellow YouTubers? This is KingD3001. And it's been a while since I've done a review. I apologize, but today's review is going to be on my newly purchased CCW, my Caltech P11. Now we're going to verify that the weapon is unloaded. You can see in the light that it is unloaded. I do have a fully loaded mag for those of you curious. My carry load is the Spear Gold Dot, 124 grain plus P, jacketed hollow point. Uh, most, well, it's famous because the NYPD carries it amongst other law enforcement agencies around the country. It's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Some brief uh, stats for this particular firearm. The lower receiver is a high polymer impact plastic. The upper receiver here is a stainless steel construction as well as the barrel. While the guide rod being plastic, I wish it were metal, but supposedly I guess the plastic cushions the slide better. Anyways, uh, the in internal workings, what the Caltech calls the frame is, I believe the representative told me 665 billet aluminum. Go over a brief stats this particular firearm. Fully loaded, it weighs 18.2 ounces. The overall length is just under six inches at 5.8 inches just to show you the size comparison with my saw tactical folder the height is just under four and a half inches tall while I have it in this angle it is sporting three dot you know your typical three dot system two in the rear one in the front and it is adjustable viva the screw right here but mine was set dead nuts from the factory the width is just under an inch. The barrel is three inches. Due to the fact that this pistol is so lightweight, it is a bit snappy on recoil. I was using the 115 grain Federal Champion ammo from Wally World, and I shot 100 rounds total of that ammo and only had one hiccup because that was my fault. I had a double feed. Then I shot eight rounds of Spear Gold Dot plus P. And it ran through that beautifully. This firearm is plus P rated, but not for continuous use. One, I don't recommend plinkering with plus P ammo because it's just expensive. And second, it'll damage the gun beyond, you know, necessarily what it needs to be you know, repairs. But you can't use plus P, just not with continuous, just a couple of mags to make sure the firearm does function. Uh, Keltec supposedly had uh, uh, some bad wraps with this particular firearm. They had some issues with it. I was told by Caltech when I contacted them to ask them some questions that if your Caltech PF9 has the mag release made of metal that that is a newer version and they fixed a lot of the issues. Now the trigger pull on this gun, excuse me, this firearm is long because there is no external safeties but it does have an internal fire pin block. Now to just verify that this firearm is unloaded again because I'm paranoid, pull the trigger as you can see it's long and has a nice reset because that's one of the safeties of this firearm is the fact it has a long trigger pull. Here's my Taurus Ultralight. Verify that it is unloaded as well. It too has a long trigger pull as you can tell. Give you a size comparison. There's the back. There's the sides here. Excuse me here. You can see there's the front. Now well, the 38's going to be larger due to the fact that the cylinder. This is a very nice farm. I bought it at a local pawn shop, Bryant's Gun and Pawn, for right around $300, and I'm glad I made the purchase. I sold my 45 Taurus because it the, the thing was just so heavy. It weighed two pounds, fully loaded, and um, I just I bought my 38 was my first pocket carry pistol, and I've fell in love with that pocket system carrying in the pocket I like it and I forgot to mention earlier that the Caltech does sport a small rail that you can add like a laser or a flashlight would would kind of defeat the purpose of this if you were to because this is a pocket gun my choice of carry for holster in the pocket is the DeSantos Nemesis as it has like a sticky rubber material on the outside to keep it in the pocket I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys how well that both these pistols disappear in the pocket due to the DeSantos Nemesis holster. I'm going to just work with me here. Let me uh, flip you around here and show you guys if you can see this. 
I am wearing khaki pants. If you can see that, it just disappears beautifully in the pocket. This is why I like the DeSantos Nemesis holster be for that reason. And if you ever were to have to draw, God forbid you would, get it positioned right, you come out, it stays in the pocket. That's why I like the DeSantos Nemesis holster because it breaks up the outline of the firearm. Well, I believe I've included everything, ladies and gentlemen. If I haven't, please um, correct me. If you have any particular questions about this firearm in general, or just questions in general, please leave them at the bottom of the video, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and treat any firearm as if it were loaded, and wear ear and eye protection when you shoot. King D signing off.